three, two. Recordings in progress. Shall we start? Three, yes. two, one. Right. So, Ajan Marie, one. Module five or no module four today? Module five. Right. How many <laughs> module more are we going to finish? Tell One us. more module. <laughs> yeah. Module six at the end. See? All right. So the happy is coming. <clears throat> but the better place to stand up for uh was that outstanding teachers could be used. Now turn to our catch up today. All right. Mm -mm. What about the questions here? Ajahn Prapin, what do you think? Is, how many questions are we going to discuss in the, uh, what's that we call breakout room? Ajahn Prapin, what do you think? Um, can Two you or Two or three questions, mate. Um, two two questions. Right. How? What are the questions? Please tell us. Um, so maybe talk about the grammar and how to teach writing. So activities. So yes. catch up, right? Before we uh going further than that, Ajahn, what you need? How was module five? Microphone, please. Okay, module five. Talking about teaching about grammar, right? I like your smiling. So it's a good Monday, right? Penchen, how was module five? What do you think, please? I think it's a highlight of our course. Because uh, they start with how to prepare in the classroom and then uh, step by step. Until now, I think this, this model is the highlight about the grammar teaching Yeah, for me. So many of you highlight or comments in the, like, uh, what's that, Facebook looped. And we see that you try in different ideas. Pimisa, have you tried any of ideas or activities? Um, and how has it happened? I haven't tried yet, but I have planned some writing lesson because we are have midterm exam. Yeah, we are in the same situation. How does it mm -hmm. go? Tell us, please. Um, I'm planning teaching writing about uh let me see the activity for they do uh, for the student to do in group right some planning great so mm -hmm. writing before that what about Ajahn Chuktui have you tried any of ideas of the module five and what happened to your class my friends um, actually, for me, I try before, but because after right now, after midterm, so we didn't have class during this week, but uh, we still collecting the midterm score from the student. But I think I have like try some activities about writing dictation or writing activity that focus on like grammar and grammatical correct uh, for uh thing peer share a peer peer share peer learning cool this cool cool one so little bit from module five and the further for module six because module six is gonna be like a assessment but let's talk about teaching grammar with a meaning today right so teaching grammar Oh, I think about a lot of things that we heard before, like uh, the deductive grammar teachings or inductive grammar teachings. But this is only the terms. How about this one? 
What do we need to know to understand a piece of grammar? What do you think? Form, meaning, or pronunciations? Mm, look at this sentence. Right. What do you think? Form, meaning, or pronunciations? So let's go. Why? What do you say? Meaning? Um, be, be, because the the sentence that is stated, so it will be the past tense, and if they recognize the meaning, that's mean they will understand the like the form and the structure. Mm. So Mali one, what do you think is the form is? I think I show a little bit, but I come back. <laughs> I think it's uh, past 10, right? The activity that you have done already and finish. That's the form, past 10, including the time. What is the time, Mary One. Yesterday. Yes. Atitaya, do you think that you can answer my question? Uh, yes, I think it's the form, like Kim Mary One said. Right. So... What do you think it's the meaning start and finish in the class? Do you think that your student could understand it and how did it happen? Maybe they can see the term like yesterday that they will know uh, that the form that they have to use like go and we have to change it into went for the past tense. That's that's good idea. Prabhin, if you want to teach the pronunciations in this one, what do you think how you could teach them? So, I think we, we sh uh, can teach oh, um, how to pronounce the sentence like a time yesterday, something like that. Or so, let them read the whole sentence. Mm. So, Pimpisa, I agree with Prabhint, but in terms of pronunciations, how are you going to emphasize this? Is going to be past tense, and we're talking about uh, the past activities in terms of pronunciation. Please help me. Okay, for pronunciation, choose pronoun the each. <laughs> Vocab rally that they don't know first. Maybe should start with went because we have past form, and for yesterday, it's the time. Also the meaning, the form for for the past and pronunciation. Will I, be good. I agree with you, but Ajahn Pinchen, can you mention that? What are you going to emphasize on the pronunciations for these sentences, please? Uh, I will introduce them first. The word went, that they come from go, and they have a three forms of go, going and gone. And then uh, model them the pronunciation that I went. To the market yesterday i went to the school uh last two days something like that so they yes great ajan pinchen you correct that you emphasize on the word went what one more that can emphasize that has happened already so it's a times i think you yeah. can answer that what is that it's the yesterday great mm -hmm. so Form, meaning, and pronunciation. We talked before. Ajahn Wan, Wa, Chini and Ajahn uh, Rapin, what do you think is the most important for these sentences? Meaning or form of pronunciations? I think form is more important. Great. What else? What do you think, Ajahn Vachini? I think the, the meaning. All right. So, again, Ajahn Prapin, I think that 
the thing the 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 most of important things that uh, we could emphasize it's about the meaning because if you don't know it's it's diff it's much different in Thai that because I can never I say eight I can I can no so in Thai and English it's different so we probably like, think about like the meanings come first again I also agree with you that we emphasize on the form because we think that if we can use the different forms of Passant, password, that could be important. But again, meaning come first. Every time. Every time. Right. Right. Now, I'm going to go more for that. Let's say laser pen. How can I? Right. So next, we're going to introduce you to the different parts of the grammars that we're going to show you in the parts of form here. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What is it? Who else can explain here? What is it? Thumb line. Thumb line. Great Thumb job. Line. So what is it about? Ajahn Chokchui, you are very fast, please. Um, actually, I did it when we have the boot camp. So, timeline it will help students to understand the like the past, the present, and the future. It's about the time, and they can easily identify and understand about. Mm, is it future or now? I, I actually I cannot see because my, uh, okay, uh, future now. Now, <laughs> you you said you can't see, but you say it correctly. Right, you you correct that when you use the timeline in your classroom, it's helped our student. How these help our student, Ajahn Marie one, please. Um, the the student can uh recognize which action occur at right now, like present. Uh, or past or maybe future. Mm -hmm. Great. So from the timeline, it makes sense with the meaning or the form. What do you think? Mm. The meaning. I think the meaning is mm -hmm. clear. Great. That's correct. So we're going to look at a little bit mm -hmm. about the timeline, what we see here, and what tense do they represent? Right. That's a very quick and would make you understand more about what we're going to talk about today. Tan -tan. Look at following timeline. What tends to their represent? Tan -tan. Tan -tan. Tan -tan. Tan -tan. And the last one. Come on. Let's start from number one. Number one, pass. 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 My friend, thank you very much. You are quick and uh, strong teachers ever. What about number two here? Present, Present perfect, perfect, continuous. Perfect. Mm, I don't think it's continuous. Let's try Present this. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, perfect. It's, yeah, it's happened from the past and now it still happened. What about number three? Past, Present, continuous. Past perfect. Great. Oh, no. Great. Past, perfect, continuous. Past why, is, why is perfect? What do you think? Why is continuous? Um, because the lie. Oh, yes. Start yes. from the past and continue. Right. Not finish. So do you think you agree with Pimbisa Ajahn Choktui? Actually, past continuous just like identify clear time. So a specific time in the I... past. I, I like what you propose here, Mr. Choktawi. Well, we go more. We'll leave a li little bit while with number threes. Okay. What about number four? Past perfect. Mm -hmm. Past perfect. Can it be continuous? Past. Continuous. Mm. Perfect. Continuous. Con what, what about number five? I'd like to see more. 
มันวิสคอนเพสเซนคอนเพสเซนเพสเซนเพอร์เฟคคอนชิเนอร์เฟคเพอร์เฟค What is the difference between number four and number five Number four, uh, number four in the past, two, some part in the past two, number five in the past perfect. now and go on. And number five perfect con. Perfect con. You, you know that I really like that you are real the grammarians. <laughs> <laughs> You're the real grammarians because the discussion that you talk, it's like the student they see something. And they can help their different ideas, and I accept that. What about number six? Come on. Future. Future. Easy, l a w No. Try it again now to the futures. Right. Mm. So, let's talk about the question to elicit the meaning of the past times lines. So, elicit is the idea of help the student with the meaning. Mm, right. I let let me start from the man. Only man here. Even he's not a man. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really good man, right? People, my friends, Ajahn c h o k t e w i what do you think? How you can elicit the meaning of these parts? Simple time like. Um, for me, I just want to. Yeah. Like... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Now you are the teachers, and everyone can answer you. Okay, not uh, only Ajahn p i m b i s a or Jan Pen, Pen Pen Alaina, Pen Jan. Not only Ajahn Maliwan, everyone can answer you. Now the turn is Ajahn c h o k t e w i Please, you are the teachers. Elicit the meaning. Okay. Um. So today I just want you to stand up. Have you stand mm. up? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, and then you can see, uh, what letter can you see from the screen? P and F. Okay. So P, what is P represent for? Ask. Oh, very good. Good job. And what about F? What do you think? It's future. Future. Oh, smart. So, and now. Mm -hmm. It's the middle, it's center of past and future time. So I want you to move. When I say some keywords that represent the time in the past or future, okay? Um, yesterday. So you can move to P or to F or stay in the center. Mm. Ah, okay. Wow, mm. good job. Okay, tomorrow. Let's go. Future. F. F. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much, a c h a n c h u k t i v i That's fun to see. I always know. I always know that you always use a lot of questions in your classroom because we worked together before. Before you <laughs> tell them, you ask a lot of questions. But what does it happen? Ah. This is some kind of something that can show the different idea of a chan choktui. Do you know when it happened? Ah, is it finished or still going? Right. Ooh. <laughs> so, is it past ten or the futures? Past. Past right. ten. So, I don't say that. This is the best three question, but a j a n c h o k t o w i also show some eliciting questions, and we see that this is the best skill ever that the teachers can do. Whenever you teach the student your class, or whenever you try to teach the meaning in the grammar. Come on, look at this. So in the breakout room. Plan the questions of your timelines. How many people out do we have today? Seven. All right. So I could break you only three rooms, right? A and B, C and D, E. Just only one group. What do you think if we have only two rooms? Pimisa, can you say? 
Do you think that mm. can we have two or three room, please? Uh, two room, two. I think. Two rooms, okay. Yes. Ajahn Pimbisa and Ajahn Prapin, you're gonna do rock, paper, and scissor. <laughs> right. So Pimbisa is the head team. Prapin is the head team. Rock, paper, scissor. Two blocks or three blocks because we have five uh, grammar identifications you can use. Let's go. Pimbisa, Pimbisa, Prapin. Three, yes. two, one. Hey, la, mom, me, hey, ka. Hey, Kanji. Yeah. Pimisa, the winner. You have two or three. What do you think? Two, ka, definitely two. <laughs> okay, I, I got it right. So again, I need to share the screen first. So the team of the Chan Bimbisa, you got to only explain or use the question from the timelines. The question is going to for ask only the question yes or no or elicit. What do you think? Uh, elicit. Do the student understand more or confuse more? Understand more. Great. So. <laughs> I don't think that you can choose your <laughs> team because I'm going to choose your team. Ajahn Bipsa, breakout room only two room. And Ajahn Bipin, create. Bim Pizza. Right. You got two rooms. Go and talk about that, please. Please join the room. Ajahn Vashini, pay dai mai. Thank you. understand oh. so for a it will be uh present yes, perfect no. uh, yes no okay. question okay okay so are you going to do or um is it happening now is okay. it about Good. now or now or the past like this okay is it in the uh -huh. past time? Now or the past? Uh, now or in, the past. in the past or now? Okay. Mm. If they if they say if they answer like maybe, 
Mm-hmm. Maybe. And it's represent now is situation. This, is this action finished? Okay. Is no, this huh? action? Is this finish. action finished? Mm. Maybe action yes. Maybe no. Uh, mm. Have it happened in the past? If the first question, you can read. If they can say yes, this is already uh, it started in the parts and oh, 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 oh. I type, I type. Okay, we 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 have two questions now about picture A, right? And okay, so mm -hmm. have it happened One. in the past and or is what is action finish? Uh-huh. This is it occur frequently? We mm -hmm. have, um, is it oh, what you think? <laughs> mm -hmm. So we just ask them when is it happen? Is it still happen? Is it finished? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It, uh, is it happened yet? Yeah, is it happened oh. yet? Yeah, it's. It yes. is. It is finished. It is yeah. still happen. Okay, and um, what about picture D? D is. So what is this thing? I I think okay. is present past? perfect. Perfect From the past. Asking. Yes. Uh huh. Perfect con. How? Perfect con, right? Yes. This is present perfect continuous. Yes, we, we can ask them for yes no question. Does it still something happen? Happened? Yes. Uh -huh. Does it still happen now? Or is this action so finished? We, so we should use the, the question uh, perfect con uh, question. I mean, uh, we have to ask the perfect con in the question, right? No, it's a question. They did not yet know yeah. about perfect cons. Uh, we can ask them we the simple read. question to help them think about the meaning. Right. But, uh, about the meaning. Our, yes, because I, I, in my opinion, because we need their answers that can help them and help us to to see if students understand the the meaning of the the sentences or the 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 rules or how to use it per, uh, properly all right all right what you need question is very good and titia answers all correct thank you 